I was in England. Yeah, I was away for a few weeks. I hung out with the Sidemen a bunch. I did a podcast. I did a Sidemen Sunday. I tried YouTuber products with Vickstar. Uh, but you didn't get to see me for a couple weeks. So on the second channel, um, I asked him if I could just react to a bunch of the shit we did. For example, I feel like me and KSI really bonded. It's like a forbidden <laughs> fruit at one point. Though. <laughs> I even had my first uh, thirst trap. I don't know about you, but that gets me rock hard. <laughs> look at that jawline. Oh. Yeah, see, I just feel like I look like a fucking moron, but no. Apparently people are dehydrated for laser beam. From the first bit of content we created, uh, it was a podcast. It was the first podcast I'd ever done, so I was very nervous. It's on Side Plus, which you have to pay for. But Vicstar, my good friend, said I could react to some highlights. Just fair warning, Sidemen content is definitely like 13 and up. We talk about eating ass. But well, we have our special guest from overseas Emphasis here today. On special. I was in special <laughs> needs in year one, so that counts. Wait, what, really? <laughs> I was definitely wow. slow to learn to read. That's how I got introduced to the Sidemen audience. I got to tell them I was in special needs, which is true, by the way. Not that you didn't believe it. So the royal family. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, okay. That's why you're here. You love the queen. I thought Buckingham Palace was underwhelming, though. I didn't realize it was Buckingham Palace. My girlfriend's like, that's Buckingham Palace. I'm like, nah, it's too fucking tiny. <laughs> it's too fucking tiny? What? what? I don't know. Where do you live, mate? So yeah, first time I saw Buckingham Palace in England, I was like, it's tiny. Maybe I'm just used to seeing large objects. I don't know. We, I had to check Google Maps that it said Buckingham Palace. Later on, I got a different angle of it, and I was like, yeah, no, it's big. I thought it was bigger. I thought the queen deserved a bigger castle. Talking about the bedroom, um... <laughs> okay, you, okay, you, okay, <laughs> okay, bro. Do you what have any you kinks? Trying to get into? Do I have any kinks? Okay. Oh. Yeah. On this podcast, we went deep into my kinks. So uh, be careful. You've been warned. I'm down to try, like, anything at any point, though. Uh, have, really... you, uh, have you ever... Licked ass. <laughs> no, no, I mean, I'm, not I'm not gonna say who not with just to not make anyone. Yeah, hundred percent. Oh, okay. You see, I, you've never eaten ass. I'm not involved. Oh, that's fucking lame, dude. I couldn't believe that they've never tried that forbidden fruit. It's like a forbidden fruit at one point. Though. It's a forbidden, it's a forbidden fruit. fruit. Never before seen conversation with laser beam. No one probably wanted to know. If you could do an alcohol, what would it be? Um, a goon bag. Yep, we started talking about making an alcohol brand because they have vodka. Might be coming soon. Might be start selling alcohol to you, children. The classic youthful Australian beverage because it's cheap as shit. Legit, if I'm going to make alcohol, it is going to be a goon sack. i got a goddamn mullet, dude. You think I'm going to make some refined artisan tequila? Or gin. Yeah. The last time I saw Vic go Vico mode, as he calls it, <laughs> is that iconic clip of him on the stripper pole love. that you have reacted to. Somebody come get her. <laughs> there you go. I filmed that video of Vic. Oh my God, yes! <laughs> yeah. And, and KSI always oh, reacts to it. Every part of that iconic clip was in the room together. The guy in it, the guy filming it, and the guy reacting to it. It was lovely to see. I've been friends with Vic for years, but he's the nicest guy. He, he was like my full tour guide around England. Being in the UK with you is like literally being with the Queen, bro. It's like every single place we go, it's like, fix stuff. Like someone just threw their phone at me the other day. Just <laughs> taking a photo of Kamara. That's lovely one. Yeah, I was walking around with Vic, and Vic is literally like the Queen in England. And someone just kind of like threw their phone at me and expected me to take a picture that's not me being like oh i'm so special i'm famous why don't you know who i am or something like that it was just like just ask me nicely okay so that was my introduction to the sidemen um i was very nervous for the podcast but apparently everyone loved it maybe i can become the eighth sidemen they're making a lot of money so i'll take 10 percent. but yeah then we went on to the sideman family feud shoot this is where all the thirst traps came from what is your name uh it's lannan L oh, there you go. I got you, buddy. Got Lanan. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why do you look like a hillbilly? Well, it's called a bogan. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah, 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 yeah. That hillbilly. He has thirst traps. There are some people thirsty for that hillbilly. You look stupid. Look, I like to subvert <laughs> expectations. Look okay. homeless. Have a lot of money. It's great. You flexing on me? My family also <laughs> loves me. Oh! Huh? I have no money. Because <laughs> my family also love me. Yeah, I got told after I made that joke, uh, I probably wasn't supposed to make that joke. You know, given there's some history with KSI and his family, I don't know, like, did you, I don't know. Name something you rob. Can I say my penis? Yeah, no, I, I my said My penis. Yeah. My like, penis. Yeah. My you penis. Sure? Yeah, well, it's like, sure about that. If I'm going to rob anything, that's probably number one on the list. <laughs> so I go up for my turn to, like, 
answer a question. Can I say my penis? First thing I thought of. Now there was some behind the scenes. I've what? seen a lot, man. You've seen my balls. I I'll show you my balls now. Well. I, mean, I, I don't want to see him, but um, I, like if I ever do feel like seeing him, he showed me his balls. Well, they look, they look yeah. smooth, bro. When I was in England, I saw one of the side men's balls. Just a lot of. A lot of bonding going on. Why do you look like a uh, Dr. Disrespect? Yeah, I get called uh, Budget doc Dr. Disrespect a lot. And honestly, that's just an honor. He's a man. <laughs> I'm just like too short. God, I wish I was tall. I'm like the most average man ever. I'm a 5 foot 10 white guy. It's so frustrating. I also, um, yeah, I tried all the YouTuber products with Vic. He got one and a half million views in three days. I'm uploading on every channel that isn't my own. And Vic, I want money, okay? Next time we go to the club and you go on Vico mode, you're paying for the drinks. We're trying like every <laughs> single YouTuber product and we're gonna rate them from who's the biggest sellout. So who's the biggest sellout? Sidemen are the biggest sellouts, man. Look how many damn products they got. This is the first time I tried Sidemen vodka. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Didn't even flinch, by the way. That's some smooth vodka. But that's, yeah, you know, their vodka brand is inspiring me to make my goon bags. Laser goon. Coming to you soon. This is me trying Sidemen's burger for the first time. I need to get you some that. Look at that. Look at that man are. biting mm. that burger. It definitely tastes good. As far as chicken burger, I'd give a solid eight. I'm not I'm giving you honest reviews. Yeah, you can't buy my opinions. Brands have offered me many six figures to play their shitty mobile games, but you can't buy my opinions. No, I like their burger a lot, actually. It was slightly dry, but I just attribute that to the fact that it's Uber Eats, but the actual flavor was fantastic. Yeah, this is the first prime taste test. I'm sniffing it. You gotta smell your drinks before you drink. All right. All right, let's try it. Here we go. That tastes really good, but I don't believe it's healthy. That was my first impressions. They claim it's like low calories and healthy and good for you. There's no way it's good for you. This was my favorite this flavor. This a real flavor, but I love it. There isn't a blue raspberry. Oh, fuck. That slaps. The blue tastes the best, if you're wondering. All right, now I've got to try Beast Bar for the first time. Is you know this what? dark chocolate or milk chocolate? Fine, but I don't, I think there's better options. See, I told you, I give honest reviews. I didn't like it initially because I had so much prime in my system. The flavors were mixing up, so I feel a little bit bad. It did grow on me, and I think it's a really good chocolate bar. But yeah, there's that was like a very funny video, so you should watch the whole thing. I had the absolute time of my life. Me being able to go see all my friends again, be surrounded by such cool people, it was very nourishing for my brain. I felt really at home. I might, I'm thinking about just going to London for six months, honestly. I'm really going to try and become a sideman so I can take 10% of all the money they're making. I just loved that trip so much, and I want to share some of the funny little moments. It's a bit scuffed, but hopefully I'm back in my content soon. Maybe it's in Australia, maybe it's in England.